taking care of you and loving who you are, it's not always easy, especially when you're getting pulled in so many directions. That's what we're talking today with my guest, Tina Tesaro Stefano, a strong woman who is the wife of a senator, mother of four children, and a business owner. Her story is one of self-discovery and transformation. So Tina, you didn't have all these titles just five years ago. What happened? What was the change? Five years ago, um, my life shifted. It, um, I was surprised by what, what was occurring, and Pat had decided to run for state senate. And that's kind of when the shift began to the changes that I was going to have in my life. And I stepped back into the family business where I worked from home and enjoyed my time here at home. Um, I focused on, of course, the work, but also that I was accessible to the four children that we had here at home. That was always important to me. I gave up my teaching career to be that stability in the, the children's lives. Um, so my, um, my dad was the one who kind of kind of hinted in the beginning, Tina, um, you know, Pat uh, has another job now. He won't be as involved in the company. You need to step back into the family business. Right. And that's Stefano's Printing. Yes, Stefano's Printing. Okay. Yeah, 60 okay. years Stefano's Printing. Wow. Fourth, Jennifer is our fourth generation. And it was, I heard him. I heard him a couple times. I didn't want to listen to him. He was right, and I knew that. The years that I was there before I worked from home, I had that, um, that experience that our daughter Jen, just coming out of college, didn't have those, the life lessons and the life experience that I had. So I stepped back in, and it was definitely clunky the first month or so, getting out of my sweat clothes and into big girl clothes and <laughs> going out and going to work every day, showing up. And it did, it, it really took a month, you know, I'd walk in and they'd be like, how are you today? I'm like, I'm living a dream. <laughs> you know? right. and, but it, it, was, it was a good thing. It was a good thing for me to then step back in to um, being then a, a, basically running the company, along with, of course, I can't take full credit. Pat's still there. Our employees are just, we're a family. Right. We, we, we rely on each of us. Right. We're a team. Right. And that's, that's what's important that's is that, that team effort. Yeah. That's, what, that's what gets me going. When I have a day off, I miss it there. I'm like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> you know, good. I, I miss being there. I miss, I miss them. I miss what I do. Right. So yeah. um, that's kind of what, what prompted that change. Um, I did, like I said, I did hear my dad and I right, listened so to him. Gotta go in. So you had certain responsibilities when you worked from home for Stefanos, but then when you went in, and now, I mean, you're going in as a business owner this mm -hmm. time. Yeah. So as far as responsibilities and things that you had on your plate, the things that you had to you know, deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, I would imagine there are a lot more yeah. um, on top of going in and going out of your comfort zone to, yeah. to have that everyday situation. Yes, I yeah. was... Um, I enjoy the customer relation. I, I like to think I deal very well with people. I get people. So that's, um, that was helpful right. to be able to do that. I would always say before I pick up the phone, I need my princess powers here. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's amazing what you can do when you go at it at a different space, a positive space, you know, even if it's a situation that can be stressful, being real and showing up sincere goes a lot further than right. than being fake or that's right that's not right. caring that's right and in your role you're really you're you're creating things for people but you're also solving problems for them and helping them find solutions yes. so you you really get to be um, kind of a you know, bit of a caretaker in that regard and being able to um, take care of their needs yes you know and to, to rise to the occasion so yes. that's that's good now you had some other things going on too in these last five years there's been some other changes yes, yes. first Pat um, being state senator that was um, that happened and then my dad's health um, in March two years ago he actually it's going to be three years um, was going in for hip surgery 
and then of course they did all the prelim tests and he um, he didn't pass the the heart test so first it was a carotid surgery in um, I believe that that was in uh, I don't know April May and then we went in for open heart after he healed from that in July so in July um, he went to the hospital and of course my mom and I we didn't leave his side I would want leave my dad's my my hero my dad is no doubt my hero um, and we stayed with him he then went into a rehab center for a couple days because the issue was his hip was so bad he couldn't maneuver like like most so he we pushed him around in his wheelchair and um, he managed he managed until after his open heart surgery I knew in the hospital my mom my mom wasn't well like it took her a while to to get to the cafeteria mm -hmm. and I noticed that and she was sitting a lot more just not herself mm -hmm. something I didn't want to burden my dad with mm -hmm. in the hospital or even in the beginning of his recovery so we um, we went to um, I finally my dad was recovering and I he saw my mom and I said dad something's wrong with mom we need to get her checked so we convinced her to go to the doctor and then uh, long story short eight days later she passed so our world was turned upside down very quickly um, that kind of was the um, bottom for me the rock bottom you know being there for my dad trying to keep him his spirits up although he is he's stronger than uh, mm -hmm. I can uh, he is a very very strong man and we got through it and you know he had some people pressure I mean you got to get your hip fist fixed like dad listen when you're ready you let me know I'll be there for you so then in November, election day, that we, um, we got his hip fixed. On and election I, day. On election day. <laughs> it was a yes. new day all the way. It was, yes, <laughs> yes. So um, I didn't, we, I stayed with him for a week. Again, being able to work from home, as I did. My computer was at, at the house with my dad. And I stayed with him until he evicted me. <laughs> he kicked me out a week later. And what did he say? He said, you need to go home to your family. They need you. I'm like, dad they're fine they have their father we've raised them to be independent children I'm doing what I need to do and that's being with you so I was with him for a week it was hard it was hard for me to leave him but he was okay I knew when I left I knew he was gonna be fine right. and he is he's just he's my hero that's, that's all I can say he is the man I I always looked up to and still to this day look up to. That's wonderful. So he's played a big part in in my life and keeping me in check. That's right. <laughs> you know, good. That's even good. when I don't want to hear good things. To have that. <laughs> yes. And and you had somebody else that, that, that also came into your life as a result of all these things that were going on. You reached out and you did something. I did. What happened there? Um, our daughter Jen had um, been in a B and I group and she suggested a life coach, Stacy Rasky. And I'm so glad she did. Like things happen for a reason. And I had needed, um, I had always wanted a life coach that was kind of on my bucket list mm -hmm. to, but at that point I needed, I needed more guidance. Mm -hmm. I needed, um, I needed to change mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. for the better. The journey then began. I um, reached out to Stacy and we talked on the phone and then I, um, I was on board. I signed on with her. We spoke once a week for, um, oh, I, I've been with her for two years. So it went from every week we, we spoke, we had home, I had homework, I had um, exercises I needed to do, basically looking within. I really searched deep mm -hmm. my, that inner, that inner person, that inner critic, mm -hmm. um, and it was a journey. It was um, some of it was rough, you know. I looked at things differently. She she taught me rather than looking to say what 
what they did or what happened in that situation, she would say, no, how are you showing up? What are you doing to, to cause this reaction? You play a role in it. And mm -hmm. now I, I look at that and I think, how am I showing up? That's right. And also it allows a rewind. And I love that because in situations, sometimes we get, we get edgy, but I can look at you and say, Mickey, Mickey, <laughs> can we, let's rewind here. Let's start this conversation over like it never happened before. And when you're in that space where basically you're saying, I'm sorry, I messed up. Let's do this again. That, that means so much. Mm -hmm. so a much. lot of self-awareness yes. in all that. In some of the exercises that she would have you do for your homework, you know, you really, as you talked about going deep, what were a couple of the things or one of the things that she had you do that allowed you to kind of look inside a little bit more? Um, I journaled. I journaled daily. Mm -hmm. um, uh, journaling was 10 good things that happened today. Mm -hmm. And I actually reviewed my journal, journal my old journal, which kind of it, I looked over it just a little bit because I was in a space where the little things like I got my hair cut today, you know, mm -hmm. that just the, there are little things that you can appreciate. That's right. And that's what I learned. You appreciate, you appreciate, you appreciate. Right. Because it's those little things that set, set the stage for the day. Right. Um, the other thing was, is I was doing a lot of reflection and meditation. Um, listening to um, basically Stacy recorded herself, which I did listen to today, just getting, finding deep relaxation and just relaxing to, to find that inner peace, that inner, inner good space. Right. Yeah. I, um, I also did Song of the Day. That was big. What's that? And it's, when she started, she said that, I'm like, well, we always listen to music. Our kids were musicals. Mm -hmm. But every morning I start my day with a song. Sometimes it's I hit YouTube and whatever comes up, comes up. It's meant to be. Mm -hmm. But um, I do enjoy Megan Trainer, which she introduced mm -hmm. me to. I had no idea who Megan Trainer was. Mm -hmm. I'm like, That's who fun. is that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Me too. And um, I love me. Okay. And that was a hard one. You look in the mirror. Can you look in the mirror and say, I love me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's awkward at first mm -hmm. because I didn't love me. I thought I did, right. but I had so much baggage, so much stressors that I couldn't see me. I couldn't see me. Right. So, right. Um, right. and it's nice to see the difference because I thought I was happy then. And in that place, I was happy. Mm -hmm. But... I was, I guess I was faking it. Looking back, right. I was just going through the motions right. Right. of happiness. Yes, you know, you have four children, you have a husband, you have a, you know, a business. Life has got to be good. Right. <laughs> it's got to be. It's right. Sometimes you don't know what you don't know, but they had all the things inside, all the things that maybe you've gone through, even in your own life or things that bother you or you can't, it was hard to let go of. Yes. You can't let go of something, it's going to stay in there and kind of be toxic, isn't it? It sure is. Yes. Yes. Letting go, and yes. I, that's something that I, I did do. I held on to things, you know, to um, hold. I couldn't let them go. Yeah. Right. And now right. I'm like, hm, yeah. that happened? Yes. It's okay. That's right. I'm over it. That's right. It's good, you know. Yes. You just learn to, to look at the big picture right. and to say, it's not a big deal. Yes. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. okay. It's all how you respond. Yes. Sounds like that's one of the biggest lessons that, you, that you're learning in all this. It's allowing you to live more freely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I do. Okay. I, I love, I love who, my, who I am. Um, it was a journey. It was work. Right. Work well with it. And yes. the journey does continue. It's, it's an ongoing. It's not a destination. It's a journey. It's a journey. It's, it's a, a journey. journey. Yes. So if I were to ask, and I think you really already answered this, how has it changed you? How has having a life coach and going through those exercises and really being self-aware and you know reflecting upon your own life and how you respond, how has that, how has that made you a better you? Mm -hmm. It's made me a better me. Um, I, I definitely look at life, life differently now. Mm -hmm. I... I look at things in a different frame of mind that we'll get through it. It's okay. 
the, the mindset is so important of the positive. Again, waking up and saying, you know, I had a, I had a miserable night. You start with that frame of mind in the morning that this is going to be an awesome day. Even if you say it and you half believe it, you, it, it usually works out. Right. The relationships in my life have changed also yes. with our children. I was always that one who would, um, who would be not live in the moment. I would be mm -hmm. in that moment, mm -hmm. but also thinking about what I had to do next. Mm -hmm. And that came with time, with letting go of a lot of things and just saying, I'm living for, for the moment. I'm embracing the fact that I'm at the mall with the kids or, you know, we're, we're at an event. It's, it's a different way of thinking it's that kind of, it's not that rat race. Kind of taking a mental snapshot of what's happening right yes. now. Yes. 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 Okay. And loving the space that you're in. That's, yes. that's the important thing. It's a game thing. changer and it an is. attitude. Uh, changer for sure. Yes. Um, and what are you, so some of the things that you're doing differently now than you did a few years ago? Mm -hmm. Just some, some. I have boundaries now. Yeah. Boundaries. Um, I basically have certain things that I was always at. Yes, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. I'll do it. And looking back, I was doing it for not the wrong reasons, but I was tr looking for something to make myself happy. Right. Now I do things because I want to do them right. and I give it 110% of, with my heart, right. with my heart. That's that, right. um, that kind of, that's a nice feeling not to feel obligated yeah. to do something. So it's okay to say no. Oh yes. Yes, it's really It okay is definitely to say no. okay to say no or right. no, I can't do it this week, but let's look at next week. That's right. Yep. That's and the right. people too that you attract now are like people, like people that you're like, I just love being around them mm -hmm. because they they overpour in such good energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you know, in life and mm -hmm. business you run into people that that affect you in the other way. Mm -hmm. But then I have a um a bubble mm -hmm. that I put myself in. Originally my bubble was hot pink, it still is hot pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um there are situations that it's made of armor because people People are people, you that's know, right, that's right. and um, there are energy vampires out there sure. that just kind of will, sure. will suck that, that's you know. Right. And I'm an empath too, so you yeah. throw that into the mix, you're like, oh yes. gosh, so I do need a yes. need a bubble that's um, armor. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Probably maybe rooted in all that, and I'm just wondering too. Sometimes we go kind of going back to saying yes to so many things and then kind of regretting it because it takes a toll on you. Mm -hmm. That power, that empowerment to say no. I'm wondering, does it come from a place where you want to please the other person? You want to fix their, 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 their problems? You want to say, yes, yes, I can do that for you. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Then it takes a toll on you. It does. Yeah. I've heard that, and it's a, it's a great little phrase, that when you say no, you're honoring your other commitments, allowing you to, that's so true. to do what you need to you're do. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's, so that's a game changer and a life changer. Yeah. When you first went to your life coach, um, did you... Was it a situation where you didn't know what you didn't know, or did you knew what you did you know what you had to fix? I knew what I had to yeah. fix. Yeah. yeah, I did. Um, I was fortunately in tune with. I was always for, with energy and just knowing myself. Right. I and I was very open. I think that's what helped me move quicker. I, I listened to what she had to say. There were some things I didn't like what she told me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. because it was honest it was honest. honest it was she called me on stuff mm -hmm. and then I would take that week to reflect mm -hmm. and say Stacy you're right you're right. right and generally she was because I could take that step back mm -hmm. and she did it in a loving space to say you know maybe you need to do it this way or maybe you overreacted mm -hmm. and we all That's we right. especially when every Every part of your body is screaming, you know, just every emotion. Right. And I do, I'm very emotional. I wear every emotion on my sleeve. Mm -hmm. If I'm happy, I am happy. Mm -hmm. If I'm sad, I'm sad. Mm -hmm. If I'm angry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. And that's yeah. probably better than keeping it bottled up inside. It is, you're you know, right. right. That's just, you know? that's who I am, yes. you know. But also when you're able to respond in a way that's positive, and yeah. in a way that like, we can just let this roll, you know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's here now and we can let it go. That's, it's, 
you don't have to respond in such a way. Right. You know, that's yep. going to be, you know, not so good. Yeah. But um, also you've done, even on the, um, that's all those mental things, all those emotional things that you've been able to do and, and encounter in your life. Physically, how have you done things differently? Um, have you been, as far as exercise mm -hmm. or those kind of things too, taking care of yourself that yeah. way? Yeah, I now put um, myself first. And even saying that, a tinge of me feels guilty as a as a mom, you know, as a as a as an employer. I, but yet, you have to take care of you. I lost me. I lost me. I was a mother of four children. I gave them I, every ounce of my being. I was um, worked for the company, whether at home or it, uh, on site. I gave everything. I was involved with softball organizations, with the children and musical things. And, but I lost me. I lost me. I lost who I was. And all that stuff was just, I was doing it, but not taking that time for myself. Mm -hmm. Because really, at that point, I didn't feel I was worthy. I really didn't. Mm -hmm. Now, I am worthy. Mm -hmm. And I go to the gym. Of course, I've been on a little hiatus from that, but mm -hmm. I got to go back. Mm -hmm. I eat, um, I eat well. Mm -hmm. I eat clean. Good. Um, I meditate. I love oils. Yeah. You know, I yeah. love um, just doing things for me. Right. Right. You know, going out and buying an outfit mm -hmm. and not feeling guilty. You mm -hmm. know, of course, mm -hmm. when you lose weight, mm -hmm. I had no clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't mm -hmm. couldn't wear them. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, I'm going out and we're going shopping. I'm going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's when you that's leave the bags fun. in the car. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you buy? I'm like, oh, just that's a couple it. things, Pat. It's okay, it. you know. Right. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I do. I make that time. I meal plan. That's good. And. Um, I have emergency meals even in my freezer. Right. That that's hard, right. because society, everything you do in society, socially, you know, at lunch, it revolves around food. Mm, true. And true. I've just Comes learned back to choices. Uh huh. Yeah. I've just learned to say no that's or right. have that free day where you go and have pizza and beer, and it's okay. Yeah. Yes. It's okay to do that. But also something I do is whenever I give myself permission to do that. I don't start on a Monday. That's so cliche. Okay. Let's start that diet on a Monday. How many people say that? Mm -hmm. How many mm -hmm. people it doesn't happen to? Gotcha. I start on a Saturday or Sunday just to mix it up. That's right. Because it is a mindset. Yeah. You can go and you can enjoy and overindulge at times, mm -hmm. but then getting back mm -hmm. to where you need to be. Mm -hmm. And when you eat clean, truly, I feel... I feel so much better. Mm -hmm. I feel so, like mental clarity is So big. eating clean, give me an example of what you do to eat clean. Um, I prepare, take for instance, today for lunch, I made um, stuffed pepper soup. Okay, I make it, um, I don't use salt, so I use all, I um, ninja my my tomatoes, so everything is is clean, mm -hmm. and then I do, I we get um, ground beef, Organ organic ground beef, okay. so that's what's in it, and then I have blueberries, and oh, that's, that's nice. my lunch. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That is really great, and that takes time to be able to do that. It does, but but you can you can find that you almost have time for anything when you make it a priority in yeah. your life. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and then you can turn around and be um, a better mom, a better um, leader. Yeah. Um, with the the employees and the family that also that works there as well. Yeah. You know, you can be a better you. Yeah. yeah. You are what you put into your body. Right. And that is so true. Right, right. My mental clarity whenever I I'm I eat clean is yes. it's so there. You see you feel better. Yeah, and you see so much clearer. Right. You do. Right, right. And Sunday's my day to to meal plan and to um to cook for the family. Right. That's my, that's my safe place. That's my therapy. Being in the kitchen. Being in the kitchen. Being in the kitchen cooking. Cooking. That's right. That's yes. Right. <laughs> yep. That's good. That's good. Yes. All right. Very yeah. good. And when you were going back to music, when you were talking about the music, now, is it music to listen to? Is it music to sing to? Or is it music to dance to? All three. <laughs> okay. All three. Yes. All three. All yes. Right. And it just, it brings up your vibration. If you're ha even if you go into it and you're like, 
I, and there are days where I'm like, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. And then you put that song on and you might not get it the first song, but then you might need a second song. Right. So then you put that second song on and then you're like, okay, I'm ready to right. start my day. That's right. That's yeah. Right. It might be the best, best minute of your morning right yes, there. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So that's exactly. Good. What would you want um, others to know that might be going through, just being feel like they're being pulled in different directions and, you know, you know they, they, being able to take time for themselves. What do you want them to know? Well, maybe what's the biggest lesson you've learned in all this? To, you have to take time for yourself. You have to give yourself the love you so freely give others and not feel guilty about it because self-care is you have to take time to take care of yourself because if you can't take care of yourself you can't take care of others to the degree that you should so and no guilt no guilt in self-care it's okay if you need to go out and and take a spa day or just go window shop at the mall what, whatever your your release is whether it be a going for a walk take care take that time and that's something Stacy taught me actually in the beginning. I had scheduled times that I was required because I didn't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it started out with just once a week. Do something for you. Right. A haircut, a a walk by yourself, but do something. Now I do it and I don't think about it and I don't feel guilty about it. Right. Right. That guilt is not there because doing those things make you that better person. That's good. That's they good. do. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Yes. Tina, thanks so much for everything you've shared with us today. You know, it's going to inspire so many people. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. And I do want to thank Stacy, yes. my life coach, yes. Stacy Rasky, yes. who was on, me, on board with me from the very beginning. And without her and without the work I put in, of course, right. I wouldn't be where I am today. So... Wonderful. Yes. Good for Stacy. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you. And uh, thank you, Tina. So thank you. As Tina shared, when you take time to take care of yourself, it allows you to go outside of your comfort zone to be stronger and a better version of yourself. Taking time to take care of you allows you to take better care of others. And taking time to care for you allows you to live a life well lived. Thanks so much for being with us. <laughs>